Hello, viewers. I'm SB, and welcome back to Balatro, uh, where I was looking around at the various things we still have available to unlock here on this screen. Uh, there are more decks that we can unlock by, by putting up wins with different decks and also by putting up wins on the higher difficulties. Uh, but there's also this challenge mode that we need to put at least five different decks. We need to win with at least five different decks to unlock. So I think rather than focusing on raising the difficulty, let's play with some more decks. We can work toward two things at once that way, and then we can we can worry about higher stakes later. So red, yellow, and black. Completing those three decks will give us three deck unlocks and challenge mode. So let's do that. Red, yellow, and black. Uh, that is plus one discard every round feels like a very soft to me. That's like a really, it's kind of a nothing bonus, right? Yellow starting with an extra 10 bucks seems great. Uh, and then green plus one joker slot minus one hand seems probably pretty good if you can get past the early game. So, I mean, the, the thing is you got to find six jokers that mean something, right? That's the trick. Um, I think let's go yellow. Yellow seems like an easy one. Just get to like buy a significant amount of stuff in the first couple of shops and, and hope you can kickstart your run that way. We just got to get to the end of Anti-8, right? So this is one where we're not super motivated to play every every shop, but I think let's play the small blind and then we'll probably just take the economy tag. Well, I guess it depends on how much money we have left. We'll see, but let's play the small blind so we can put some of our, our cash to use here. And we open on a straight. I mean, that's pretty hard to argue with. Okay, and then just find me like anything, right? Um, is two pair gonna get us there? What's the, ba what's the base value? Two, two, the base value two pair is only 40. <laughs> I guess in our case it would be, um, it would end up being enough though. In our, in our case it'll be 60 times two because it's all face cards, so yeah, okay. Doesn't matter how we win, just matters that we win. For now. <laughs> I mean, if we, I guess if we don't see anything that's like a total mind blower here, maybe we do just hold, just, just accumulate money for the, um, we trigger all cards played for the next 10 hands. That's interesting. Yeah. Why don't we just hold all this money? Skip blind to here, get extremely rich. And now if we can just make 600 off of our base deck, we can buy a bunch of stuff and be in deep in um, interest land. I gotta remember that interest is a thing that exists because obviously uh, we've been playing without it for quite some time. Uh, I guess, like, do I wanna break my only pair? Hoping for the flush? I think that's like a reasonable approach since we're already throwing so much away. At the base values, the difference between two pair and a flush is huge, actually. It's a ton. So maybe we do, maybe we want to go back for the... Yeah, let's go back for it. Let's, let's see if we can find that spade. We can indeed find that spade. Yeah, not a bad start, not a bad start. <clears throat> Three hearts, three diamonds. Well, I, sorry, we have a full house. What am I? What am I talking about? We play the full house, obviously. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And now I just need to make forty. Uh, we got one more discard left. Let's just throw out all these cards that don't do anything, and and we have high card. I mean, I got a pair. Actually, a pair is sufficient. Yeah, pair does it. <laughs> All right, let's buy a bunch of cool stuff. And we can stay nice and high on interest forever. Yo, paintbrush is great. More cards in hand. Always, always, always good. Each king gives times 1.5 malt. 
some kind of face card deck. I don't hate that. Um, yeah, $4. So, like, you get one interest per $5 in the bank up to $5, right? So if we buy both the Celestial and the Standard Packs, we're dipping under max interest. But, you know, give me this. You know, we've done the flush deck. What if we could compress to sort of like, to sort of like face cards? I mean, I, obviously we're far away from that, but like the base value, base values of flush and straight are pretty similar, but the straight, but Saturn levels up the value of your straight a lot more than Jupiter levels up the value of your flush. That's interesting. I guess these are these are hold your face cards in hand though. We don't actually want to be. Hmm. Maybe I should have taken like like high card or something. I don't, hmm. I don't know. Whatever. Um, my guess is that's probably not going to break the run. So if we're going for a straight deck, but we potentially want to be able to hold our kings and queens in hand, what is that like? Our ideal compressed range looks like something like. Jack at the high end to seven. So you're like trying to, you're trying to compress your deck to like seven to king. And if you have to play a queen and a king, sometimes into a straight, it's like, it's not heartbreaking. So that could be a strategy. Just like, just like clip the two to six off of each, um, off of each suit. I don't know how possible that's going to be. I'm going to open this, even though this does, I just want a card that does some weird shit. You know, a nine with some extra stuff on it seems pretty good, actually, for our plan as it as it goes. Oh, next base edition shop joker becomes negative. That's so hard to pass up, right? Yeah, I know I'm, I'm basically throwing away interest there, but also negative jokers. Uh, and your thing is minus one hand size, the manacle. I think that's probably not a big deal for us. Okay, well, as things stand, we're pretty close to a flush. We could just throw in the two pair, but maybe let's look for that flush. The thing is, if I take the two pair right now, I do get the king multiplier at least. It is a little bit of a shame that the pair we have is a pair of queens. We could try to make something in like the bottom half of our hand. I don't know what that would look like though. Just throw away everything that isn't a jack and hope for, hope for Providence to smile upon us. It feels a little, a little whack. And it's like, we don't have to make that much money here, right? We don't, we don't have to do that well. I am gonna throw away everything that isn't these looking for a, like if we get a jack or a queen um then obviously we'll play the full house and if not then we get to do like this two pair which obviously is is a lot stronger huh did it trigger those in the wrong order aren't things on the left supposed to trigger Well, whatever. Okay, what did we do? Plus three molt for each Joker card. That's like fine. I mean, it's fr it's free stuff, right? Yeah. So we could drop another four dollars without disrupting our um, interest any further. But also a jumbo buffoon pack helps us craft the run. And like I'm not I'm I'm willing to drop. We can we can go down one more. It's fine. Show me something cool. Scary face is pretty cool. Yo, <laughs> smiley face, what's up? Well, we have we have more molt stuff than anything else right now, so let's pick up the scary face. This, uh, this one doesn't matter because it's these this triggers when they're scored 
you know what? I wonder if these jokers maybe don't trigger the way I'm expecting. I wonder if they, if there's some part of the scoring process where like it goes through our hand looking at things. Um, so we could buy the Sly Joker right now, even though it's not great, obviously, just to pump up the Abstract Joker for the moment because it wouldn't cost us another point of um, of interest. But uh, whatever, we'll just hold on to the partial interest here. We'll be closer to the next bit. Okay. Minus one hand size is not hurting us all that much just yet. I think that it is a real shame we can't pay th can't play three pair. This would be a really good time for three pair. Um, let's maybe dump these face cards or something. Show me something. Okay. I think I'm willing to just play the two pair. We had to 1,600 in four hands. Because this is gonna... Two pairs pretty bad, is the problem. So we're on like 25 malt times 1.5. It's actually, it's not horrible. I'm Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. I wanna see, I wanna make sure I'm like paying attention. Oh no, we're not gonna get the times 1.5, but we're still on a bonus 25 malt. Yeah, let's just hit it. We are fine. Okay, kings and queens in hand. This gives me an opportunity to see what it was that happened last time. I think if I just play this jack, we win on high card. But there's no reason not to discard looking for stuff. All right, we score money for our remaining hands, but not for our remaining discards. All right. So I'm watching this. Last time, I think it scored Baron before it scored Shoot the Moon, even though Baron's to the right. It sure did. So for these held in hand things, it seems to go along your hand first. It's like it runs, it checks your scoring cards, then it checks your uh, left to right, then it checks your hand left to right, then it checks your jokers left to right which makes Baron way less good than he would otherwise be, but he's still improving the value of Shoot the Moon, which is real. Yeah, okay, that's still, it's still interesting, and it's still powerful, obviously. Uh, I don't know if we need Planet Merchant. I don't know if we need any of this stuff. I mean, obviously, like, Arcana are good, but maybe we just hold maximum... I'm just going to hold maximum interest, I think. We're okay for the moment. Double Mega Celestial Pack is kind of fun. Of course, none of this is helping me get cards out of my deck. That's, you know, I would need to be buying Arcana for that. So maybe the better thing to do is... This would let us choose four planet cards. And we could get some doubles in there because it's two different packs. Am I better off just taking the interest and spending the money and trying to buy some Arcana to shape our deck? I think so. I think that that is the case here. Okay, well. Doesn't play into the face card stuff, but it's not a bad open. It's always like three of every suit, right? All right, let's drop some, like, some of this stuff. Stuff that's not the pair and it's not, it's not faces. Uh, yeah. Is it better to hold the queen or the king? This is gonna be plus 13 malt. So what, we're gonna, we're gonna times 1.5 just on the four. It is better with our stuff still sort of under trained like this, this, it is better to hold the queen. Unless I want to go in with the plus chip. Yeah, whatever. This is fine. Like, the scary face obviously has a lot of value. But we got there in any case. 
All right, I need some like death cards and some just some arcana stuff. Huh. Create a planet card if the played hand contained two or more eights. That's, I mean, gosh. There's a part of me that just wants to buy these two jokers. <laughs> the fact that this just has the foil plus 50 chips on it really makes me feel a lot better about holding on to it. With two more jokers in hand, we're just we're just sitting on 18 malt all the time, which obviously helps us get some places. This is with our desire to hold kings and queens, this is very much feeding our our economy. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to take these and and go forth um the order that our stuff is in doesn't really matter right the the we want the queen to be to the left of the baron but aside from that right now no the order our stuff's in doesn't really matter because none of it interacts in in those ways all right let's go beat up the big blind and make some make some money and buy some cool stuff i uh, would love to see some Face cards. Okay, okay. Something. I guess I want to hold. I want to hold a spade. The, the one card I'm leaving out of this is definitely a spade. What am I doing though? Why would it be the five? Or why would it be the four instead of the five? Yeah, this is okay. This is an okay hand. All right, we made our dollar. That's pretty cool. We're actually remarkably close to a spade flush without having to play the king. I mean, we'll just take the spade flush that presents itself, though. This is pretty good. Shoot, sorry. I have the king up here to the right of shoot the moon. But that's not what I want. What I want is the kings in my hand to be to the right of the queens in my hand. Am I allowed to reverse sort by order? Five dollars. Okay. Well, it feels very foolish to pass up a spectral pack, right? Spectral cards seem like they're totally bananas. So let's start with that. Three random enhanced face cards. I mean... It's very difficult for me to imagine familiar is the wrong call here. Obviously, we hope that it doesn't hit the queen or the jack, but even if it does, it's fine. Yeah, no, that seems great. And then, like... Earth is not awful. We could take one of these and just try to just try to draft in some more good some more good face cards. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, Steel Queen of Hearts actually really really solid. Do I want the Earth badly en enough to sacrifice the one dollar for it? It effectively costs us four dollars instead of three dollars. Yes, I think so. I feel like that's a kind of hand, if we get our deck compressed, that's a kind of hand we may end up pl uh, playing a lot. All right, lose one dollar per card played. That hurts, that's, that feels bad to me. I didn't look at it ahead of time and I absolutely should have. And now we're gonna suffer because I didn't look at it ahead of time. Uh, I think this is like a, well, I was going to say this is a dump uh, looking for the looking for the heart flush, but I wonder if it would be better for me to get the eight ball fired. No, you know what? I don't think so, actually. Not that it's bad, but uh, that's compelling. We're just we're so close to that heart flush, heart flush with two kings in hand, like we would not have to play very many cards. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm still looking for it. Heart flush with two kings in hand. Okay. Do I want to discard one more time looking for even more stuff? 
Okay. There it is. So wait. No, the rank sort does not allow you to sort the other way. If I move the queen to this side, does this work the way I want it to? Yes, it makes the queen, it makes the, the shoot the moon score the queen before the baron scores the kings. That's fantastic. Scary face is not actually doing that much for us if we really intend to like because we I, like I do intend to hold my face cards kind of forever. In plus three molt when any booster pack is skipped, I don't I don't think that that's very good for us. But I mean like scary face is still very alive when the thing we're doing isn't quite working, and I think that's that's worth something. Wasteful seems good. I'm going to take Wasteful and, and roll on here. It is hard to want to keep your economy in a good spot. Yo, Spectral Packs. Play only one hand. This is not great for us because we haven't really fixed our deck at all. It's not unbeatable, but it's not good. Handy tag at $13 is Probably already. Well, okay. I'm going to skip this blind. Give me that spectral pack. Oh, to one selected card. That is very handy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, make my, make my amazing queen of hearts. Also one of these things. I guess, hold on, that, that makes me want to play it though, right? What did it turn into? It got holographic. Yeah, I guess I should have put it on the jack, because we're more likely to want to play the jack. Well, at this point, this deck is very like half of one thing and half of the other thing. I think I'm going to go ahead and skip this blind. $13 is more than we would get from beating it, probably. And I'm not like powering up any of my stuff by playing. All right, only one hand. This this could be a problem. This could be a killer. We gotta find a good hand. One that's like, oh no, sorry, play only one hand. I thought this was the one that only lets you play one hand type. No, play only one hand is real scary, um, but if we can play something with all these face cards, you know, something decent with all these face cards. I think we can we can get where we're going. It's going to resort my hand every time I draw new cards. That's annoying. I might just keep discarding off of the pair of nines. Like, we're looking for something that's more exciting than pair. Or we're just looking to accumulate so many face cards it doesn't matter anymore. Which, honestly, we might have already done. Jack is not really doing too much more. They're, all of my jacks are still in the deck, though, right? Like, I'm going to discard this ace. I wonder if I want to discard the jack, because if we could draw another jack, like two pair with double jacks getting the scary face, it was definitely something. Yeah, sure, I'll just discard the ace. Wow. Wow, that actually happened. Okay, well, this is going to be, like, pretty all right. This is going to get us there for sure, I think. Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. Ooh, that seems like a thing worth buying. Also, I wish it wasn't the case, but I think this is a thing worth buying. We are, we are ending up playing two pair a lot, regardless of my desires. Show me more spectral stuff. Add negative to a random joker, but basically put back the hand size that we bought earlier. I'm really enjoying the extra hand size, but also what if more jokers?
Polychrome is times 1.5 molt. That's that's really interesting on a hand card. Like it's not nearly as good, but it's still kind of good. I'm gonna take the ectoplasm. What do you do? I'm not buying you. What you do is not good enough. It plays well with the abstract joker, you know, ha having another slot, I mean. And yeah. Okay. Upgrade the straight by three levels, plus three hand size next round. That's pretty cool. Cards previously played this anti are debuffed. So there's definitely a compelling reason to skip both of these blinds. I don't love the orbital, orbital tag and I would rather go to the shop. We can probably hit 11,000 in one hand, maybe two. Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll play the small blind, we'll skip the big blind. And we aren't debuffing our important cards because we'll just be holding them. Right, I'm gonna try, let's, can we get spade straight? with all these face cards, because this that would be pretty cool. Well, okay, we've got a pair. Do we want to live on the pair? Oh, we got two pair, I guess. Do we want to live on the two pair with two queens in hand? We're just looking for other face cards. Full house with two queens in hand. And it earns us a planet, sure. Okay, yeah, two hands. Not too bad. We don't we don't have to blow up too much of our stuff. I don't love that it was Mercury. But whatever. I'll take it. Uh yeah. I have no discards, right? We're just playing we're just playing the two pair. Well, It's a shame those aren't proper face cards, but whatever. It's fine. We got there in two. Didn't end up having to debuff too, too much of our deck. Didn't debuff any face cards or anything. Okay, so a foil misprint and a holographic times three malt if the played, car, uh, played hand has a scoring one of each suit. Interesting. That's not gonna happen. That's... It's tricky to control. That said, it has raw plus 10 molt on it. And right now, I think that's actually pretty okay for us. Like, this is not a great joker, but buying it discovers it. I think it's not a great joker. But buying it discovers it, it, gives, it fills this in. We can always sell it later. Yeah, it sells decently. And it's just raw, it's just raw plus 10 molt, you know, for, I think it's okay to have it. Okay, and it still kind of doesn't matter what order our stuff is in. And then we just roll on. Well, we could, we could pull from a standard pack, I suppose. Show me. All right. Well, that's not a face card, but it is pretty okay. I'm not gonna be too upset about a wild in any case. All right, so we, so we skip this blind and let's do it. I gotta make sure I'm looking at the boss blinds ability all the time. Huh. Well, I think let's start by dropping these. Doing that puts us in like not a terrible position to hunt for heart flush. We could do this, still hold a pair. Keep some face cards, just try to try to find something juicy. Okay, if we found a 10, we could roll a straight through our um through our face cards, but obviously I'd prefer not to. Um, remarkably, we are no closer to a flush. But maybe I discard two seven jack and just look to make a full house. Try to make a full house here. And we're still discarding toward that hard flush, potentially. Okay. Well, you know, it gets us the full house. We don't score the nine chips off of this, but it's still we still get the the much higher value on everything. Let's make sure the queen is to the to the left of the king here, and this is a fine opening hand, I think. Yep, 
Yeah, that's not a horrible start. So we're on two pair. Kind of like an unimpressive two pair. I don't think I want the... Well, hold on. We Do we have a... S no, we still don't. We don't have a flush. Even with the wild card. Right amount four spades, four hearts. Do I want to hold on to that and discard for the flush? No, I think we're going to like discard around the full house. I don't actually know that I want the jack. What we're looking for is a three or a six or all, you know, always a king or a queen. Okay. Two pair is definitely more interesting with three queens in hand. Alright, let's just make sure our kings are to the right of our queens, and we'll uh we'll throw these cards up. Yeah, pretty solid. I really do need to, I need to like shave some cards out of this deck still. We haven't gotten to do it at all. The moment, the moment I had money, all of a sudden there weren't Arcana packs anymore. Okay, well it definitely feels like we should purchase and use this Temperance. All right, get me an Arcana pack. I guess let's Emperor basically re-roll our, uh, our attempt here. Okay, Hanged Man is really good. Hanged Man is really good, Paul. Uh, definitely open this. Jeez, I don't... In theory, eventually we get to a place where Mars is good. I'm gonna take the Mercury, I guess? That's not very... That was not a very compelling uh, pack. And then, yeah, like, please. <laughs> please, more tarot cards. We can take one reroll here. Times three malt if the played poker hand has already been played this round. Hmm. You know, that's actually probably pretty good. What would I what, what do I want to drop for it? It's probably it's, maybe it's the scary face. The eight ball is just giving us plus fifty chips all the time. Scary face is only better than that in situations where. It's scoring on at least two cards in the actual played hand, which isn't all that often. This is going to do nothing a fair amount of the time, but we're doing a lot of we're doing a lot of playing the same few hands, right? Yeah, our plays are very clustered. Yeah, I think I'm going to dump this scary face. So I think in like the ultimate fantasy version of the deck, we don't end up playing that many face cards. Yeah. We can still reroll. We're still looking for like, yeah, this kind of stuff. Although um, not, not star specifically. Like I would have been willing to sell the Empress for a good tarot card. I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna move on. Let me spend my tarot cards before we, uh, Okay, first hand is drawn face down. It's like extremely whatever, and it's not very interactable. It's the most important thing. Let's just play some. Let's just play some not quite poker, shall we? Uh, so these cards are all kind of in my in my band, right? I don't actually want to drop these, but I do want to, or I don't want to hang between these, but I do want to enhance them. We're gonna we're gonna play the nine and the eight here. I guess I guess it's like. Eights, right? Technically, I'm more likely, I'm slightly more likely to want to play eights. All right, and then, yeah, we'll just like, do I even discard the jack? Is discarding a single card silly? I think it probably is. It's probably pretty low value. Let's just go ahead and play this. 
do I play the Jack? Just to get rid of it. There's like face cards no longer have magic extra value for us. Yeah, let's just play this to get it out of here so that we can find cards that are outside of our theoretical straight band and feed those the thing. Yeah, Mercury again, huh? Well. We did not find two such cards. Um, gosh, what do I even want to do here? I'm probably playing like pair of queens or something is what this ends up being. I'm gonna t discard these. Yeah, I'm literally just like looking for cards to hang. But six and seven are actually, <laughs> These are fine. But it's like six is the cutoff. Six is, six is where I theoretically want to start chopping stuff, right? I certainly don't want to use the hangman on one card. I'm not. Show, come on. There we go. Just like digging desperately for an opportunity to do this. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm just going to like play a pair of queens. Times 1.5 mult while this card stays in hand. So that goes over there. It'll be 10 mult if I played it. I definitely should not have. Yeah, holographicking, that was silly. But like, let's do this. That got pretty, got pretty okay value. The deck is weird. It's not. It's like not quite doing any of the things that that we might want it to do. That's a straight flush. That's. I mean, <laughs> it's not bad, but it's definitely living in Hope Town. Gains plus four chips if the played card has exactly four cards. This is something that'll scale up over time, in kind of a fun way. Let's start here. Okay, Hanged Man is up. Uh, strength is interesting too, but I think I wanna just, I wanna compress. More than I wanna herd additional cards into the band, I wanna compress cards out of the deck entirely. I want to increase the chance of drawing our enhanced stuff. Uh, yeah. If this card is held in hand at the end of the round. So yeah, we want to, like, gold some queens, right? The gain on straight flushes is very significant. Like, a single level up is, is a lot of value. But I think I'm just going to re-roll here. Okay. Uh, the devil... You know what? These are both worth having, I think. Disrupts my economy very slightly. In the universe where we ever get this deck running, this orbital tag would be cool, but like it's anti, we're heading toward anti seven already. Maybe I need to accept that that's not going to occur. <laughs> Do I see us taking this one into Endless? I don't know. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. The dream, it's out there. My first hand is in fact drawn face down. I mean, I'm just gonna throw five cards away, right? I think that's how we start this. Okay, um, we have a pair. Am I remembering correctly that like playing something? I'd probably rather have two steel cards than, than a gold card and a steel card, right? So I want to play the chariot first. So we want to see something to play with the chariot. So I'm gonna we wanna we wanna see a face card that I wanna hold on to. Ugh, this is not a good position to be in. Two discards in. Okay, better, better. Yeah, we wanna see that kind of stuff. 
And then we just go ahead and we play the full house. King to the right of queen. It is a shame that on this queen, the, um, the effects don't fire in the right order. Like you get the 1.5 molt from the card itself before you get the, th the plus 13. Uh, okay, so we go ahead and we use this. Get ourselves a chariot and put it on that king as well. Pretty good. And then I feel like we can just kind of like toss these. Wow. I think it's best to just play two pair, or to just play the pair. I mean, we'll throw this in there too. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Uh, I definitely want another chariot. A moon doesn't really do anything for us. Neither does magic trick. The th like the thing is, I actually actively would not want playing cards showing up in the shop right now because I'm still trying to buy my way out of having a 50-something card deck. So go ahead and give me this. I guess I shouldn't have used that. I should have held it because what if we ex what if we somehow pick up like a hanged man or something? Yeah, that, that was probably slightly wrong. Do we want to do two planet packs or do I just want to reroll? Still looking for a lot of tarot cards. Um, but we can't guarantee the reroll will have any value. Yeah, the planet packs will do something. They will have some value at least. Really looking for opportunities to upgrade the straight. Um... If I'm being realistic though, these Mercury upgrades, they're meaningful, they're, they're working for us, they're doing a lot. Yeah, honestly, you know what? As long as we're holding a lot of stuff in hand. Yeah, and like Venus is not a bad, a bad upgrade either, honestly. Ooh, free holographic. I think we probably just start with zero discards. It's really harsh. We definitely need to play these blinds because we need to uh, influence our deck as best as we can here. This is interesting. Um, so we almost have this flush. Do I just do I discard my existing pair hunting for the flush? Or do I discard these four do i discard four cards of the same suit just looking for face cards and to, to augment my pair weirdly i think this is the thing like a flush is only 34 times 35 times four it's actually better to play a pair than it is to play a flush at this point yeah and obviously like any anything where we where we do what we just did and accumulate a bunch of face cards it's pretty real. All right, let's turn one of y'all into a steel card. Do this and just throw these out there. Uh, the card sharp, not the card sharp, the flower pot malt scoring is just so unlikely to work Yeah, it's like really unlikely to work because because we're like trending toward these smaller hands now. That's something to keep in mind as we're looking at more jokers. Um, <laughs> okay. Two pair. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? That's true. I should have I should have played one pair because reserved parking would potentially have given us extra money. I was just like, I was just playing a hand that I thought was good, but it's technically not the most hand the hands available. Chaos the Clown. That's cute. Uh, I don't think stone cards are very exciting for us. A jumbo or a pack sure is. Uh, yeah. So. Death is a very exciting card in general. But I think in this case, like, if, if we had gotten uh, one of the queens that had, like, upgrades on it or something, that would have been pretty fun. But since we didn't, maybe we just... Maybe we just hanged man some low value stuff out of the deck. And then like reroll? I guess I'm gonna reroll. Yeah. Neither one of these are completely useless. <laughs> have two pair already but like I really 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 just want to find face cards right now yo there's a full house um sorry when I say full house or when I say face cards you know what I mean we just hit a four of a kind just like ripped it right off the top of the deck I guess we play the four of a kind There we go, that's fun. That's some extra extra value potential there. Managed to find ourselves a dollar. Ooh. The thing is, I know it's against the, the whole point of the deck, but I've never gotten the chance to play five of a kind before. I mean, I sort of want to do it. Is it good to play it just to play it? There might be an unlock. It will potentially put a bad, like a card that I don't actually want to take in our planet packs. I, I, I want to do it though. There might be an unlock. There wasn't. Well, it was, it was worth seeing. All right. Uh, every played card counts in scoring is like, okay. Plus eight molt. I mean, that's pretty much always going to be on. But it's all like, it's worse than the, it's worse than the foil that's on the top of this flower pot. I will say reserve parking should be paying out pretty well for us. In theory, it would be eight ball at plus 50 chips is like definitely value it's not amazing value yeah i'm kind of reluctant to i don't i don't think either of these is obviously better than anything in our hand probably uh people disagree i would imagine some people disagree uh okay so turning like a jack and a nine or an eight and a jack into malt cards would not be terrible, right? Or maybe maybe like jack into a lucky card. Because we want we want the things that we're actually going to be playing underneath the queens and kings. I uh, yeah, let's. I guess we'll do this. I'm not like super excited about this set of five tarot cards, if I'm honest. Yeah, let me see this. You know, if we see the five of a kind thing, I will I will take it. Probably just to... Right now we're doing Venus more than Saturn. Um, I would take it just to have it discovered. Okay, no discarding. Just, just rip it right off the top. Well... 
At least we started with a queen and a king. Uh, what do we want to play? So this hand is just a pair, and we're dragging with it. There's four more tens in the deck. There's four more nines in the deck. So we're definitely playing the six and the ace. And I guess it doesn't super matter. There's not that many spades left. Wow. This is nothing, but it's really close to not being nothing. Am I playing high card five with the two in tow, hoping for a flush? Is that the world I live in? I guess we could play high card eight with the five and two in tow. I don't know. That's doesn't. It's it's a much it's a much higher scoring hand, but like, I think this hand this hand is basically a throwaway anyway. And maybe what I should be doing is just playing. Maybe it's like this. Because you know what? The, like, the only thing that really matters is finding those face cards, right? And that's realistically. Yeah, so I guess I should play the 9 too, even though it's going to mean the, the 8 is no longer our high card. Yeah, just like throw a bunch of cards down because what we're trying to do is draw some face cards here. Okay, super helpful. Very, very helpful. I'm going to high card again. Wow, I was really hoping to draw something. Like a hand, any hand. <sighs> okay, so at this point, if we ran the two pair out. No, we would run the one pair out. And if we're running one pair, it would be, it'd be the queens, right? Cause the kings will, the kings will 1.5 and then 1.5 that. No, actually, I think we want to leave the queens. We want to play the kings. Um, the dollars that we might make don't matter, obviously, because what we need is survival. Did we, we played pair this round, right? Ooh, these don't, these things don't say what you played this round, and my memory is incredibly fucking bad. Ooh, I th we played a lot of high card this round, I can tell you that. I mean, <laughs> I wish it was, I wish it would tell you on the card sharp. Like if your current hand is one of the ones that has been played this round or that there was like a history, we didn't have two pair, right? No, we didn't have two pair. Did we play pair? It was our first, I think our first play was a pair. So 90 times six is a base versus 15 times two. I'm going to, I'm going to go for this. Nope. Insufficient. Okay. Well, at least he's including himself. At least he's accepting part of the blame. Yeah. I think like the water is just going to be a tough, that's going to be a tough blind for a lot of decks, but our deck in particular was it was a particular kind of unfocused that it's just like I had I had like three different good strategies and I was pulling the deck toward all of them equally which is not that's not the way you want to do that generally 
Oh, not even an unlock. No unlocks of any kind. That's like the worst thing. So you, you get the deck pretty far and then it flops and you didn't unlock anything. We would have been so much better off with a couple of like weak starts. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, I reckon we're going to just try that deck again. And this time, maybe I'll develop some focus. We'll see. We'll see you then.